got a little mushroom. <laughs> so doing my normal morning routines. This is the bit that I'm setting up. It's um just kind of growing in a bit. As you can see, some plants haven't taken, but some are doing brilliant. Spray this every day to keep the humidity up and keep the plants nice and happy. Uh, I've not quite decided what's going to go in here yet, but this morning I've realised I've got a little mushroom. <laughs> it's so strange, it's just come out of nowhere. It wasn't there yesterday and all of a sudden it shot up this morning. Quick work has been made of the mushroom. Can't say I'm wholeheartedly surprised to be honest. Things like your spring tails and your wood lice do absolutely love consuming those. But where that one's gone, one has sprouted and bloomed. <laughs> Almost guaranteed by tomorrow that'll be gone too. If you look around the fringes there, it does look like a few nibbles have been taken. So I'll follow up on the mushrooms, as you can see. It's completely collapsed, it's dried out. And just 24 hours later, it is swarming with springtails. Now, the thing about it, I don't know where all this has come from. Maybe they've released some spores, which has given it off. But as you can see, We've got one, two, three, four new sprouts. As far as I can see, that's all of them. Oh, look. <laughs> You've got a fifth one here, but the springtails are destroying that already. Right, so a bit of context. In this fifth, we've got some um, dwarf whitewood lice, which were the initial ones that I've added. Um, the population, they, well, they're hiding to be honest, but I've actually had a route around and I found a few and they seem to be thriving. As you can see, they've also got springtails in here. Um, they're loving it, they're <laughs> doing brilliantly. The reason we've got these two in the vivarium is they help clean up everything so just like this they're consuming the mushrooms um, it, whenever I put my well whenever I stock the vivarium with an actual animal they'll help clean the waste for me um, they'll break it down so the plants can consume it and yada 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 all right so I've elected not to water the viv today. I thought I'd give the mushrooms a bit of a setback as you can see. This one's been absolutely ravaged. It's incredible the speed in which they work. Can't see any stem whatsoever so they've cleared up very nicely here. However, this all being said, the speed in which these shrooms <laughs> grow is ridiculous. Now, as you can see, because I didn't spray, it has made them suffer. But they're just all popping out so fast. And I assume this white patch is spores that have been released in which more mushrooms are kind of going to come up, so... So as it comes, the dwarf whitewood lice are doing really well. Um, I reckon I'm going to release some giant orange wood lice though just to help give them a helping hand. They are going to be competition for each other but at the end of the day they're not going to fight at all so that will be absolutely fine. Um, it will just be an extra addition really so we have a three part clean up crew for now.
Right, went down to the shed today. Looking a lot better than our previous days, to be honest. Now, as it comes, I don't think the mushrooms are a threat to anything in the shed. I know spores can cause respiratory issues, but this is all enclosed, um, and it is, it's a minor capacity, to be fair. There's not hundreds of them, so it shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. That being said, I would still rather they've gone. All I have found this morning is this tiny little nub in it, so... Hopefully, fingers crossed, <laughs> maybe the giant orange will be the... What we need just to turn the tide. However, we've got this little guy here. Undoubtedly, there'll be some other small ones elsewhere that I haven't really seen yet. Haven't come across. There's a woodlouse just now. But what stands out? They come out the next day and there's four of them just there. Come put them just here, say hi. So Well, I could just leave that down to the woodlice, they will eventually solve it to be fair. As I say, I don't think these will cause any issues for the shed whatsoever. Um I'd just rather not have them for reasons and reasons. Because it's empty at the minute, there's some other animals that we're making their homes. Don't know if you can see. No, you can't. The lighting's not good enough there. Have you got this? So obviously I haven't intentionally released this guy in here, he's just made his own way in from the outside. Um, I think it's fascinating to be honest though, just looking at the construct of the web. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> he is likely feasting on things like the springtails and the wood lice. Um, this isn't a great deal though, because obviously they are a breeding population and arachnids don't eat very often, so he's not a threat to the population whatsoever. does lean me more towards potentially getting an arachnid in the future. We'll see. 